trying to avoid using items. After all, healing is free. We really don't care what this gym leader has to say. Bird types. Who cares? <sighs> Only level 7. I was let down a little. But only a little. Oh, don't lower my accuracy. Wow, it only did three points of damage. That is excellent. Oh, but it's gonna lower his accuracy again. No! No! This is gonna be a problem. Yeah, this is going to be a serious problem. It's going to go until it can't go down anymore, and then we're screwed. This is where using status effects is actually going to affect the outcome of the battle, but not as much as he thought it would. Already, that's over with. A level 9 Pidgeotto. Hmm. That's what was unique about this gym. But it failed. Well, I've never used it before. That would be one reason why it would fail. Let's lower his accuracy a few times and see how he likes it. Just one more time. Oh, this is getting risky already. I may need to heal. There we go. Now it's going to be a battle of the misses. And of course, because his accuracy isn't lowered as much as ours is, um, yeah. This is already, it's come to Zubat. Oh god. Phew. I'm actually genuinely worried here. It missed, thank goodness. This is only going to restore 1 HP. Yeah. And we're lucky it does that. There we go. Just stay confused. This battle is actually way more tense than I expected it to be. Uh, but then again, that's what ha happens when you, you've got two Pokemon and I didn't raise my main as much as I would have because some of that experience has already gone to Zubat. again. It's a very anxious battle. Um, can you just get get your supersonic in there? Come on. Damn it. I'm sorry, Zubat. Sorry, I got a little muted there. I was hoping he'd get half of that amazing experience, but... Ah, Faulkner's down. Zephyr Badge, it's ours. Raises the attack power of Pokemon. Ah... I always thought that was interesting, the fact that Vag's boosted stats. We already know about TMs. 
That's right, it is both defensive and offensive, which is why Torture's going to learn it right now. It's too bad Zubat can't learn it. It'd be great for him. <gasps> I've just wrecked this Pokemon. I'm gonna save it just because. Damn it. Ah. Novice mistakes. But it, it's really not that big a deal. Um, because where we've lost the fire type advantage, we still have the bug type. And then we have the ground type, which. He's going to have an advantage over Pokemon of his own type. Yeah, I'll take the egg. Uh, I'm not going to use what evolves from it, though. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I'm bummed that I wrecked my Pokemon. That's okay, he'll learn quick attack soon, and then he learns a decent fire move and like 10 or 15 levels, so he's not ruined. It's just gonna be a while before he's useful for his type again. And if he stays ahead in levels, then it's no problem at all. Well, let's switch Pokemon here. No. That's what I meant to do. So now we really need to catch poor old Zubat up. Paralyzed Cure Berry, which PRZ really doesn't say paralyzed to me, but Assistant Ruins of Elf, yeah. Now is there a trainer? At this entrance of the Ruins of Elf? Hmm. Hmm. There is, I want the experience. Undoubtedly. Something will be done. Much later. So let's just see what everybody's talking about here. It wiggled. Okay. Trees may be alive, but they don't move. Not like that. Oh well. Let's just get going down this really long path here, and I will show you on the map. It's a really long path. It's the longest path. Well, second longest path in the region, like here. If we go around to Blackthorn City, the route below it is longer. This guy's gonna wanna battle us. Violet City Souvenir. Grass type moves. Damn it. Well, I guess we're on our journey again to get to places. Here's a trainer. Why has he got to pick a fight with me and so you think you're tough? This damn young. You leave my body the zoo out alone. So talking about this potion, bam. We wasted six points of it, but yeah, it could be worse. So now let's just double check here. Was I right about 
its types. Poison flying. That's why we couldn't hit it with a ground type, is because of the flying type. But now the super effective... It would have been super effective, rather, um, if it were just a poison type. In, it's likely that you've built up a tolerance to lactose and your body produces the lactase enzyme for your entire life. But for the rest of us, we are quite unlucky and as we get older our body stops producing the lactase enzyme. Or in my case, I'm just straight up weird in a level. That's okay. That glance, it's intriguing. What's that supposed to mean? Kim. Oh, I don't want that item, but I'm gonna go get it anyway. I think this hop hip has an HP EV. And it's very weak, which is why we're going to let Zubat confuse it. So he saves some of his leech life, but as you saw there, it actually did some decent damage because it's grass flying. And the flying doesn't take away the weakness to bug from grass. It's very complicated. No, it uses synthesis though, I forgot all about that. Thankfully, it can't heal itself up a lot yet. It's evolved form. Skip wound? Yeah. It's actually much better at that. But again, it's not a Pokemon I'm fond of. They're very weak. They don't really have much going for them. At least for my playstyle. Now there could be someone out there who's an expert with hop hips and their evolved forms. Hey, that's great. I want to know about it. I don't want to just say I don't like this Pokemon uh, and not know how to use it. Uh, some Pokemon, like uh, I was referring to, I don't like Rattata. It's just a basic attack sweeper. Um, that has no defense and that's why I don't like it. Now there are people who can use that great um, and I don't mind that at all but just for my playstyle a basic attack sweeper is not really something I like or something I'm proficient with either. Did it say it was confused no more? I didn't quite pay attention. No, it's still confused. Okay, good. Hey, come on now. We're gonna run out of leech life on this damn Hoppip. Zubat's stronger, but Hoppip just won't give it up. Now, see, it's interesting that it's choosing to try and lower Zubat's defense when it has no attack moves. It can't actually hurt him. All it has is Splash, and Splash will do nothing. Now we gotta hope it KOs itself. Hey, hope does its job. Yay, Zubat grew to level 10. Um, there's a Pokemon Center down here. I want to sneak by this guy. Yay! One million Poke Dollars for a Slowpoke Tail. You are a jerk. I don't know that I want to go fishing yet, but I do need this rod for later in life. Alright, so 
let's get back on the experience trail. So that's what we're doing right now. They'll work for you, or they'll do it for you in an unspeakable manner, since no legendaries uh, were taught the more Pokeballs it needs, the more you want it, basically. You're gonna throw a hundred Ultra Balls at a Pokemon, you really want to catch that Pokemon. So here we have our first ang- I don't think he tried to rush things, I think he played at exactly the right pace. Oh, mom! Mom went and became an impulsive shopper because we're making money. What the hell? Oh no, I made this angler lose a fish, he's gonna be so mad. Fisherman, just so is there one trainer left here? Yep, yeah, one trainer left here, and then the cave to the next town. Surprised how much I've got done here in about an hour and forty of the recording all together. What's interesting about that Pokemon egg we're carrying is that it gets healed every time we go to the Pokemon Center. I don't know why that has anything to do with anything, but they seem to feel the need to, to heal it even though it's not done anything. Another interesting thing about it is that it's a story point to the game, but um, it takes a certain amount of steps to hatch, and in fact we can even look in on this here. Yeah, that's the first message. My Pokemon, freshly caught? Uh, that's not good, sir. It's not good at all. Yes, Splash. So now there's actually one trainer between us and this uh, cave route here. So what we're going to do is heal up again. We're at the point where every battle needs a heal up, and it's annoying, but that's what the cave's for is so we get some endurance in our Pokemon, or we get enough Pokemon where it's not a big deal anymore. So here's this last guy. probably shouldn't. Probably level 15, I'll stop splitting experience for Zubat. And even then, when we can have him fight on his own now, we will, but it's a rare occasion. So, what's this place called? Union Cave. We will explore further very soon. But for now, we have to take a break.